and it's here everybody update 41 for balloons tower defense oh man this is exciting huge shout out to ninja kiwi for providing us balloons youtuber with the early access to showcase to all of you beautiful individuals what to expect with this new update by the way if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and of course to show you love and support by hitting that like button and use creator code Tooty if you're getting anything in the btd6 shop help support myself as well as the channel all right friends let's see what's going up in update 41 so there's a new map wait what is with this picture this is like an old update picture so there's new map editor props new quests team up against any boss on any map with co-op boss challenge i love that so and the, now the monkey sub paragon as well all right let's go to our military let's look at the monkey sub Oh, the Nautic Siege Core. Unfathomable range, power, and synergizes with other monkey towers and heroes. Put all balloons under assault. That looks amazing. I am so down. Let's take a peek into the trophy store. So a Moab Bee. A Balloon Bee instead of Bumblebee. A Balloon Bee. And he's blue. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. So a chocolate bar pontoon. What is this? Ooh, a custom avatar. That looks really cool. Flower friends. Oh, I love that avatar. And then a little Benjamin Mouse. Okay, that's cool. I like these new things that they've added. All right, let's take a look at this new map that Ninja Kiwi was talking about. They were talking specifically about wanting it to be more for Paragons and boss events. So here it is, Sulphur Springs. Ooh, I'm so excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what am I looking at? Wait, so there's water here and water here. And so you can put towers here. Okay, this is really cool. Let's see how these balloons, what happens here. <laughs> they, have, they have, I love how they have the little uh, bunny things on. That's so cool. All right, so they go around once. And now where do they go? What's happening? Brickle, you're too good. I'm just going to start putting down banana farms because we're going to need... Okay, do I have game hints on? Game hints are definitely off. What is happening? I guess we're going to get a tutorial on how to play balloons as we go through this. <laughs> it just goes round and around here. So this is just like attack zones dream. Ninja Kiwi also said it was really fun to get paragons on this map. And that's kind of what they're hoping for is this. So I'm really excited to see kind of what they got going on here. I love the map design. It's actually so beautiful and well put together. This doesn't seem like an intermediate map it actually seems pretty straightforward and easy not that i'm complaining by any means i'm actually very happy with this none of them have even gotten by i wonder if there's if they're gonna split if one will go this way and one will go that way the sub doesn't seem too expensive actually oh here they go so they go around so they all so they go around and around and then around like that and then do they go around and around so it seems that the balloons just go round and around oh here we go now we're actually starting to get overwhelmed Oh, so wait, spikes are down here, and I don't think you can actually see the spikes. Oh, and then they come down and they go out. Okay, so we're actually starting to lose. So that's not bad. So can I put, so I can put subs here, right? Ooh, look at that. So I can put a submarine here, which is actually pretty cool. Look at that. That's not bad. Oh, like, like literally just having a buccaneer right there is going to be so good. This is a buccaneer's dream right here friends we're gonna upgrade all of these we're gonna need a crazy amount of money so i'm gonna just sell all of these and now that i've sold all of these i can upgrade this to monkey town monkey city and then we can put a singular banana farm down and we can turn this into monkeyopolis yeah we have a t5 banana farm i want to cram as many banana farms in here as i possibly can oh so you can't put any banana farms on these geysers can you put water towers on the geysers i'm assuming no right that would be outrageous yeah so you can't put anything can i sell these no i can't sell these okay so wait what did i just click on Whoa, wait, wait, wait. There's something with these with these geysers. For sure there's something with these geysers, all right? And now let's upgrade all of these. Bum 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 bum. There's something going on with these geysers though. There is some Okay, well, that one makes noise. Oh wait. Okay, so you click on this one, then this one, then this one and then this one. Oh, look at this. Oh, they all steamed up. Oh, the geysers are gone. Can I put thing? Can I put water? Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Oh, look. Oh, there's the bumblebee Moab. Wait, come on, bumblebee Moab. Yeah. Okay, there's something with these geysers. They make sounds. They actually make specific sounds as you go through doing things, right? 
I don't know what it is though. And it starts with this top left one. I honestly don't know what it is. One, two. Do you have to go back now? Is this kind of like a Simon Says thing? Oh. See, it makes a noise, but what is this noise doing? I have no idea. I wonder if you don't have any water towers here if anything happens. All right, let's put a submarine down here as well. We're gonna want kind of a mixture of everything. Let's go ahead and get an energizer. And then we're gonna want all of the subs, right? Cause we're trying to also get the submarine paragon. I really want to see what this submarine paragon is going to be able to do. First strike capability goes kind of nutty, actually. I'm still over here trying to figure out the water maps. See, it makes a really nice sound when you click on all four of them, but I don't know what it does. It might do something here in the middle. It might take away water stuff. Also, I'm assuming that you can't put any water towers down here in the lava, right? Yeah, you can't put any down on the ladder. I want to see the different stages of the submarine as well. Oh, oh, I love this. I love this little icon they've added for the submerge and the... You, so you can change the targeting priority with that. I love that. That's so cute. I think that's just a really nice quality of life change that they made. All right, we have a ton of money now. Let's go ahead. Let's buy Energizer and let's start getting these submarines upgraded. I'm going to sell this monkey buccaneer because I think just, just having submarines is kind of the play here. Let's get sub commander, advanced intel, and then we can just get down a couple more. Whoa, we get so much money. All right, sub commander and we need preemptive strike and once we have preemptive strike that's all three of them and then we can there we go the paragons the nautic siege core oh i'm so excited i'm so excited to actually give this a try so i think getting first strike capabilities is probably going to be the best and just spamming these abilities right i'd like to get a, rel a pretty decently high degree paragon so I guess we just need to save our money though. And then where do we want the Paragon? We probably want it right in the middle, right? I think this this one will probably be the best. The sub commander. We'll, we'll turn the sub commander into it. I'm really interested to see the two the two sides of this Paragon, right? Because apparently this Paragon has two aspects of it, right? It, it can synergize. So it has its like submerged version and it has its out version. So I'm really interested to see how well those kind of work together. And remember guys, if you're excited for this update too, you guys know what to do. Ninja Kiwi does such an amazing job with all of their updates. Recently, I had a conversation with them and it was really cool being able to hear kind of Ninja Kiwi's perspective on things and how they go about stuff. They released the map editor and they said that they were so amazed with all of the amazing maps that everyone was coming out with that they felt that they needed to pick up their game to be able to make better, cooler stuff. Cause they're they, they like, yeah, everybody is outshining us with the map creation. And they were just so passionate about wanting to make even cooler, better stuff for everybody. And I think that's so cool. And it really shows for this map. I love the design for this map. Cause I think this map has a unique design to it, but not so unique that it becomes a hassle to play. I enjoy playing this. I really love the middle area here. I love the uh, big outsides for having banana farms. It doesn't force you into specific play style. You can use your water towers. You can kind of use whatever you want. Plus it looks really cool. I love the water that would flows into it. It all just kind of meshes together really well. The ZOMG, ZOMG incoming. Boom. Nice. I think let's get a million dollars and then we'll put a million dollars into the Paragon. Does that seem reasonable? I think that's pretty reasonable. And then we can start seeing some of the synergies because I really want to see how Admiral Brickle works with this as well. We have $845,000. I am so ready for this. DDTs don't stand a chance. Everything's, everything's getting melted now. All right, let's see. If I got the Nautic Siege Court, would it use all of my money? It would use all of my money. Ah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money to put into a Baragon. <laughs> that's a big, that's a large sum of money. But we're going to get a million dollars and then we'll put a million dollars into this Baragon. That's a lot. That is very expensive. And I am so ready for it. All right, we have a million dollars. All right, friends, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Nautic Siege Corps. The new submarine paragon. Let's do it. One million dollars and oh my gosh! I feel like I gotta sell Brickle just so we can bask in the how amazing. What? 
What? Oh my gosh. This, oh, my, okay, okay, okay. So, what happens if I... Okay, so what if I submerge it? Okay, destroy... So, it's not that crazy when it's submerged. But it gives everything crazy boost. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. When it's not subbed, it's... Oh, that's so cool. All right, look at... Oh, so he goes underwater as well with it, right? And then when you come up, he just goes crazy on him. Does it have to be in range? So it has to be within range of it. Okay. And let's put Brickle down. Let's put Brickle back down again. Wait, there's an ability with it? Wait, th this ability has such a long cooldown too. Wait, if I put Brickle down... Okay, I definitely should wait. What does this ability do? Oh, I'm so I'm so hyped to see what this ability does. So this has its own attack speed stuff, but I really feel that we should just get other... Because it gives buffs to everything, right? Wait, does it give... Wait, does it only water towers? No, it's submarines only. Okay. And heroes. All right, we have the ability. All right, let's use the ability. It had such a long cooldown. Let's use it. Ready? What does it do? Wait, what is what is this countdown? What is happening? Oh my gosh, it just launched a bunch of nukes into the sky. What is happening? Oh! It literally just launches. Look at this radiation. It just leaves radiation poisoning. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was gnarly. All right, let's just max Brickle out again. That was so cool. That was so cool. I'm sorry, but that was just so cool. It's literally just, yeah, see you, balloons. Like, literally goodbye, balloons. Let's go ahead and let's get all T5s. I'm really curious. What happens if I just submerge this? Oh, whoa. Okay, these towers go kind of nutty now when it's submerged. Look at that. And then when it comes out, I love this. I'm having way I'm having way too much fun right now. I'm having I'm having, I'm having a way too much fun right now. I'm I'm launching the nuke again. Here it comes and boom. That, that's cool. I really hope that there is someone at Ninja, like Ninja Kiwi where they're having a meeting and they're all sitting around the table and they go. You know, what should we do with the submarine? And someone just goes, why not give it nukes? And everyone goes, yeah, yeah. It's so satisfying. Like everything kind of slows down, missiles come up, and then it just, look at this. Here it comes. Yeah, boom. And then leaves nuclear radiation that just bubble. I know, I'm not entirely sure when the update's gonna be coming out, but it's gonna be coming out very soon. So be prepared for it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Ninja Kiwi, you guys are amazing. This update, you killed it. I'm so excited for it. If you guys wanna learn more about the update, you can, I, you can always go to their Reddit post where they talk about it and kind of explore it for yourself. 